Saturday night. It's eight o'clock at night and I'm on my way back home from the auction. Um, it was a great night. I spent 24 and some change. This time my car is not as full because I was really particular on what I was purchasing. I didn't want to buy any more cat boxes or anything like that. <laughs> but I, I did pretty good. Um, I can't wait to show you what I got. Um, I think that um, a couple of items that I bought will make me my $24 right away. Maybe even one item. So it's not a bad deal at all. So stay tuned for what did I buy at the auction We Bring It To Life with Gail. My auction treasures for the week. Let's get in it. Hi everyone, this is Jingles. I haven't done an update with her. She is almost one year old. She'll be one on July 23rd, the same day as my birthday. And she is a tiny little one. She only weighs three pounds, one ounce. She likes to be held like a baby, just like this. She puts her head down. <laughs> She just wants to be loved in the morning, but right now, I got a couple of things to do. You gonna let me? So say hi, everybody. Hello! Okay, right here. So this week, I went to the auction. It was super hot, but I decided to go anyways. Um, last week, I missed because of the storm. And I don't know if I have another video on that, but if not, I will insert the storm that we had which kind of bummed me out last week to go to the auction. Um, I spent about $25, let's just round it all up. And I picked up not a lot of items, but bigger, bulkier items this week. Um, these are about $1 to $2 a piece. I'm trying to remember what was the most expensive thing. I don't really remember, but it was smaller boxes, so I picked up a few items. Like this was by itself a couple of dollars. It's a road sign, it says Beverly. I just thought it was kind of neat. It has the hooks in the back. It's, it's kind of heavy, but I just thought, how cool is this to uh, resell um, if somebody's name is Beverly? Or just to, if somebody has a man cave or something like that. So the next item I think it is not, oh, hold on. I have to take this out real quick because there was something else this here for later okay so this is at the bottom it is not in the best of shape but I think if I wet it down and put a heavy brick on it or something it might straighten it out so that's the bottom of this basket I think I paid two bucks for this basket um, it is not in the best of shape at the bottom it has some pieces missing but I could maybe put a rope at the bottom and do some cute painting on it I just think it is gorgeous i love the color um i don't know if i can find this piece of wood like this to finish it off but other than that it is in great shape the inside is totally clean looks great so i went ahead and picked this up what a great vintage basket to pick up at a flea market for a couple of dollars i'm just thinking how i'm going to fix the bottom if you have any idea uh, tell me in a comment how you would fix the bottom of this um I really like the look of the wood, but sometimes you can't always fix some things like that. So, the next item for $2, it is dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, it's a scale, another scale, for $2. Um, I'm not even sure if it, oh, it moves, so it's probably in working condition. Somebody said that I was lucky because it was just laying on the ground, and you can really, it was turned like this. And it had stuff around it, and I said two dollars, and it said so. Nobody bid on it, so I'm like, okay, I guess not too many people except this crazy girl are in the. I can't think right now in the scale business, I guess. The next item, I think I paid like two dollars for this as well. It is a bread box. Um, it is pretty neat. It's a, a little dirty. I think this. Um, I looked this up on um online and i think these letters used to be white somebody decided to paint it blue i don't know if i'm going to leave it like that or if i want to paint the whole thing again um but i do like the word bread on there so i'm going to have to figure out how i want to fix this up um but bread boxes are really popular right now so i was surprised when nobody picked this up but um it was it was a different mood at the auction this this week so the next item i picked up was this box 
of books, old books. So you know me with books. Like this one here was not, I forgot how much I paid for it, but it's only a couple of dollars. Um, this is just a regular book. I'm not quite sure. But what got my attention was this old little book. Now it's falling apart, but I don't care. Look at the images in this book. They're like so crisp and so beautiful. And so, um, look at that. So I'm gonna try to put it back together. And I just think the colors on the outside are great. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This one, I don't think it's old as well. It's a horse book, but the pictures are beautiful. Um, so it was, it was in the box. So I had no choice to buy the entire box. Now the one book that they get me was this book right here. Um, it is a little bit damaged right here, but they sell for a lot of money if they're in good condition. Um, this is saying copyrighted in 1902. And they're just like nice images inside. Um, I don't know, done in the open drawings by Frederick Remington. So um, I'm going to look this up and see and probably ask my the antique dealer, what do you think I could get for this book? So. Some of them online were like $29 and they were rougher than mine, so I don't know. These were cute, they were just little puzzles. Some people like these uh, when they do a vintage bedroom for their baby. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, uh, big fat hen. Um, I don't have all of them and a piece is missing right here, but I just thought how cute they are just to put in a frame. It's probably what I'm gonna do later on when I have more time. Now, I do not know if these are just old, reward uh, posters um, I saw on Etsy that some people make these I don't know um, if anything about them so this is something else I was going to ask my antique dealer about what he taught and if I can get a dollar or two for them then I'll sell them at that so it's not a big deal there was this another one of these little recently I've been picking up these little they're just in the boxes that I buy so this was included in the box and I just thought well either I can leave it like that put a little decal on here uh, put a little um, hook in the back it's just something that I can resell for sure um, these I really did not peek at them they're old um, I just got something in my eyeball again um, March um, posters look at this isn't that gorgeous? So I love these kind of things. They're vintage and, you know, they're for um, St. Patty's Day. So I thought, how cool are those? And then I have this one as well. So um, I haven't really done too much with these uh, little things that I pick up like this. I haven't sold them. I don't know. I just like them. Uh, maybe it's because I work at a school that I like things like that. Now this I did not even open. It's from Allmark and they're plain or party centerpieces and they're daisies. Look how beautiful that is. Um, again, um, they are, they're really old. They were $1.95 and I guess. Oh, look how beautiful that is. So I don't know what I will do with these. Um, it's kind of, they're kind of neat, so you can tell out where they are. What else is it? Oh, and they're, the leaves, the paper leaf comes with them, so it's like a decoration on a table. How sweet, how cool is that? Um, the next thing that I had seen in this box that intrigued me was this, the J.C. Linden Decker poster book. I mean, it's not a whole book at all. Um, I forgot what it said here. Hold on. 1975, but there are a bunch of posters inside this book. I know that some people like to buy these to frame them um, for art. I don't know if I would take it apart and sell them individually or I would just sell the book as one. I am not quite sure yet and I don't even know the value of it. I just liked it for the pictures. And what is this? Oh, I found the puzzle piece. Yes. Oh, that makes me happy. So now I could go recycle that box. And then Charles M. Russell, Old America West, um, uh, 50 suitable for framing. So again, it is a framing uh, posters. Let me see here. I, I can't find the date. Again, not an old 1978. 
uh, definitely vintage, but look at some of the posters, Native American posters. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So again, is it something that I will sell individually? Did some people pull some of these out? I have no idea. So something else that I really like picking up. Now, for weeks now, I have been trying to find, and guys, I don't even know if I can lift this up. I found this old wooden toolbox and I paid two dollars shut the front door yes I was so excited nobody bid well there was one lady let me tell you sir so there is one lady that was there Saturday and she was out bidding me on everything well it wasn't easy it wasn't hard because I wasn't bidding that hard I was I was there to find items and if I didn't I didn't well she stepped away from this um because they, they line them all up so she stepped away from this and when somebody took her somewhere so I was kind of happy and then I paid two dollars for it so it is heavy and all of the stuff inside was included in the two dollar price so I'm gonna empty it out and maybe I'll be better anyways there's this huge vase I don't know what I'm gonna do with this um, probably not gonna use it sometimes I like to take these and donate it to a flower shop so um, what I what I saw inside, I was kind of I thought these were kind of cool, and I know they sell. I didn't look them up yet either, but these two little mannequin kind of deal, majiggies. Um, I know that. Oh wait. Well, it looks like it, they were at Goodwill for five ninety nine, and where's their price underneath? There's no price underneath this one, and again, so. I mean, if they were selling for $5.99 at Goodwill, they're probably a little bit more than that. So, kind of cool. I don't know what I will do with them. I don't know. I don't know. Um, inside the box is kind of really, you know, it was a tool box. Um, there was a wooden uh, paper towel holder. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. It will probably resell. Then there's a camera. Um, always intrigues me when there are cameras. Maybe that says it's the battery. This right here is super sticky. Batteries galore. I'm not going to take them out in case they're not good. There. It's saying card. There is no card. I thought I saw a card inside. Okay. There is a card. So I don't know if there are any photos on here or if it just works with batteries. Then I'm going to put batteries in it and see how this little camera works. Some people call that cameras, so we will see. Then the next item, there were some, uh, all of these attachments for this red rope light. Um, not sure, but it was in the box, so it kind of comes with it. Then there's this uh, small wear Goodwill. It's a marble um, candle holder. And then this, I am not opens it's a secret message no March magic ball so there was probably a little game with this so it's probably just trash so I'm gonna toss it over there oh there are a couple of movies in here Anderson the movies are in this one and some Isotopia whatever oh, well the two movies are in here so two movies so now, to really show you, I'm going to grab the camera. So this is the box. It is gorgeous. It is super heavy, you guys. And this is where you would put all your tools, I guess. And then just go on here. Now, I really like this one. I wanted a old one like this to put on my table with flowers, you know. But my grandfather was a carpenter. And that's my dad's dad and my dad loved to work with wood as well and I have received one of the things that I did get were some old tools and I think that this will be the perfect box to display those old tools in I'm probably gonna scatter some pictures of my dad when he and my mom when they were doing uh, some reindeers for the front of the house for the holidays so I'm pretty sure that uh, this will come to great use um, and again, if I don't do that, then I can always use it as I was thinking, as a nice wooden centerpiece for my table. Okay. This box, I added some stuff to it because, oh, the bed is gonna fall. Oh, okay. So, for this box, I bought it because the, 
this bench, wow, it's heavy too. This bench was inside the box. I got the entire box for $2. Um, I want to redo this bench. Um, is it cute right now? Ah, it's okay, <laughs> but it's not Gil's colors. I wanted to redo the top. They tried to sell it at a yard sale for five. They didn't, but I see potential and I paid $2 for the entire box. So, so I'm just gonna take the other items that were not included in this box that I bought extra as well. And then I'm gonna show you what's in this box. Okay. I know that these are not included in this box, so this was something else that I got. Okay, first item are some angel rainbow wings. That's in this box. Now, I usually don't buy box if there's clothes in it because, you know, but um, I noticed that some of these are pretty cute. D jeans, so I do sell Poshmark. So this would probably be something that I can sell in my Poshmark. They look pretty brand new. This pair actually has a tag on it. They're St. John's Bay. They were from probably, um, what you call that place? Uh, JC, it is from JC Penney's. And they got them on clearance themselves. There's no price. Sometimes $5.97. Anyways, they're St. John's pants. So um, this is definitely something that I can look at to sell on Poshmark for, you know, inexpensive. Now, I kind of like this. The Grinch t-shirt, definitely something that I will put in good use. Another pair of St. John's Bay um, pants. They're size 6, will not fit my body in this, but another pair of good brand pants. This is just like a little Christmas poo, not too keen on poo Christmas, but anyways. Um, here comes uh, some cute pants here. It has a little, um, they put patches on it. They have like little patches all over these pants. They're kind of cute. That might be something that I can still say. Indigo Rhine, it says, a size 9. I don't know nothing about them. They're their crop pants. They're kind of cute. I love the little, um, whatever you call them, iron-ons. And then this is just a regular pair of pants. Aero Pastal. So... Again, might be something that I can put on my Poshmark. Um, what's this? Uh, another pair of like leggings. Uh, it's a cute little <coughs> skirt. Uh, American Eagle, it's a size four. Those is something for sure that I can sell. And just selling these items on my Poshmark um, probably would make my money back on everything that I bought. Um, this one has a price on it. I mean, still with tag, uh, I don't know, but it's a size six, and again, the St. John's Bay pants. So, so that was in here. I'm going to empty this little, so this little basket is in here, and now I'm just going to fill it up. So there's some ballerina ribbon and some flip-flop ribbon, some regular blue ribbon, uh, some gold and black ribbon gonna go through the ribbon first. Some chair leading ribbon. And some little flower ribbon. So not a bad deal. All that ribbon is in there. And next there's this little uh, fence. I guess it comes with these two little chairs. There are two of these. I don't know what I will do with them but I do have that little um, dollhouse that I want to build so maybe that's something I can throw in there. There's a couple of little blackboard signs. Jingles. There's some battery lights, which I'm probably going to toss. Oh, maybe I will not because they actually work. How cool is that? Nice. Okay. And there's some little crystal diamonds for crafting. Another little blackboard. Um... These are back of earrings, but they're all stuck together, so that's definitely going to go in the trash. A cute little basket. Some more uh, in bloom little uh, diamond, uh, whatever you want to call them, beads. Oh, a little galvanized bucket. A little whisk. And that's all in this box, and all I wanted was the bench. <laughs> I thought it was weird that they had the bench. 
um, I don't think this is just a little ice cream little toy. Then there's a little Paw Patrol toy. Then there's these little fairy lanterns. I guess you just got to replace the battery. They're kind of neat looking. Kind of cute. There are two of those. The batteries are dead. Um, pink glitter, which is going to go in the trash. <laughs> Next, there's this melted candle, which is going in the trash. I try to get rid of everything right away of things that I don't really like. This poor little guy is missing an eyeball. So he's going to go in the trash. And another melted down candle going in the trash. This little Dollar Tree unicorn thing. Um, I'll put it outside. Somebody might grab it. This battery operated candle. And that is what was in this. Oh, and this works as well. So not a bad deal, right? For $2. And all I wanted was the bench. So to me, that was a deal in a half. Okay, what else was there? Oh, in another box, I paid $2. Um, I really wanted boink, this ball jar with this lid. Um, I don't know why, the perfect mason. It's probably not worth anything. Um, I will check these and link below uh, when I edit. But then I also loved the amber glass that was included. Amber is coming out, you guys. Um, for fall, I'm going to be using a lot of amber. So either I will sell these in my booth. Sorry, guys. Or I will just keep them for myself. And then a couple of uh, milk jugs. What does that say? One quart liquid. And this is liquid half a gallon so these are always neat and this for cottage core you guys is a big thing the glass lids and stuff okay so i'm gonna pull up a little bit um the next item um i think i forgot how much i paid for him but he is a bear on wheels um there is no name oh yes there is it's from applause so it's not a vintage bear at all it all twisted around um it's not a vintage bear but i just thought how cool it is you know when i like to decorate for christmas i love to put some antique looking uh, plush with my decor so and then the next item i bought actually this for my work it's ugh, it's pretty filthy but it was a little step stool it was two dollars and that was my um auction all like i said it was not a lot this time but the items that i picked up i forgot one i, I forgot one box okay so they had a box filled with these um palettes for when you're like hot what i like the bottom is the vintage looking i do not i do not know if these are new or if these are actually vintage again something that i need to ask this one says cream of wheat. Children everywhere love to eat cream of wheat. And it says five cents a serving. How cute is that? Now, so that was my haul from my auction. I will be returning to the auction next week. Um, Hubby wants to try to come and see what I'm doing there. Um, also this week, I went to one barn sale. And I'm going to show you just... Um, Right now, I'm going to show you, um, what did I buy? I'm going to show you what I bought, but one of them is already set up, so I will show you that later. Um, I picked up these bingo cards. Um, I love doing scrapbooking or anything. I just thought that these were neat. I think I paid $3 for this. And then I paid $8 for this metal um, divider. So um, I used, I thought it was a little bit much, but I kind of like the vintage look on it um, and the way they had it displayed. So can hear me echo. So I did buy that at a barn sale and now we're going to go show you the other two items that I bought and we'll go from there. The one item that I did buy at the um, barn sale was these two panels. They were 12 something for two of them. 
but I went ahead and block it because my puppies keep coming into this room and making messes that they're not supposed to be doing. So I went ahead and put them here for right now, but I kind of wanted to show you real quick. I have plans for these as well. The next item that I purchased at the barn sale was this one gallon jug. It came with the plant. It's kind of dying now, but it was $5. And then I purchased this little metal plate for a dollar and then the little desk was $22. I cannot wait to show you my redone sitting room where this little desk is now sitting. So not a bad haul this weekend. I am anxious to go again next week and there are a few videos coming. I'm working really hard. Um, like I said before, with this channel, you never know what you're going to get. And I have been working at different things in my channel to, whoops, to bring to you guys. So I hope that you stay tuned. There will be a trip to Topeka where Upcycle by Brie lives. I will be going to check some of the thrift store that she goes to and also um, hopefully go visit her boot. And then um, there is um, a trip plan this summer, an RV trip plan this summer. So I'm hoping to be able to take you along as I am getting ready for that. And then just tons of things happening on uh, my craft fair and hopefully a Christmas in July video. It will not be as much as the years before, but I am hoping to bring you a week of videos for Christmas in July. I'm working at it guys. So thank you so much for watching and the way to help me out is to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you know when I'm back with a new video. Also share and with your friends that way they, it builds up my uh, YouTube channel and also like, comment and just tell me what you all think. So y'all have a great week and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.